Okay, let him go. What's up everybody, welcome back. Uh, I hope everybody is having a good holiday, staying safe. Um, and you know, not spending too much money on themselves when they're supposed to be buying Christmas gifts. But anyways, you can see that I'm covered <laughs> from head to toe today. I'm wearing a boonie, some shades, dry fit hoodie, and that's because today we're gonna do some fishing. Um, we'd like to go diving today, but you know, because it's the holidays, you know, small get togethers. Um, you know, you want to kick back, relax, and enjoy a few with the fam. So instead of um, not going into diving 100%, we're just gonna, you know, wake up, meet at the shop, and head over to the spots and just cruise. You know, I'll be with Captain Joe today and Brad. You see I got some poles packed over here and I brought the gaff so if you guys seen the night fishing video we didn't get a chance to get it bloody yet so I'm hoping maybe today could be the day I mean it's a huge gaff and I don't know what fish we're going to use it on which I use it on anything <laughs> at this point but um, yeah hopefully we can just get out and it's a Sunday so and like for me, in fantasy football playoffs, it's just stress already. I just, whatever. I'm just, I don't want to be glued to the TV all day watching football. So get out there, relax, clear mind, and just enjoy it with the boys. So see you guys on the water. So we launched, and the ride was cherry, bro. The water was so nice. But good thing we went fishing today because the water was super dirty on the inside. So we started bottom fishing, just trying to you know catch some bait fish, some moanas, and Captain Joe hooked up the first hoggy of many hoggies of the day. So I didn't want to catch any hoggies, so I rigged up some automatic flies just to see if hoggies would bite this too. And off the first drop already i did get some small bites and i went on a paw and the day overall was kind of slow um plenty markings plenty markings on the sonar and for whatever reason might have been the tide might have been that the water was super nice but they weren't biting this is one of our spots where we usually get a lot of action but today all we got was this yellow dot and captain joe got a bunch of hoggies so small little yellow dot hopefully you can get bigger someday and throw them back we fished for hours I mean, it was all day just chasing fish going up redrifting and there wasn't much at all this is more than half the day gone and we don't have any fish in the cooler so I wouldn't actually want Hana Paw, but I want to keep them kind of quiet and never say nothing because I never like lose them. <laughs> Given how the day went, I never like lose them. So I just playing them. You can see me fighting them all the way to the surface. As you can see, I was pretty stoked because <laughs> the first good fish of the day. Um, same thing, it was on automatic flies. I didn't catch one hoggy today, so that was one big takeaway. 
on this day was using the flies i did not catch any hoggies so i was just stoked on that <laughs> um right after this i dropped the same colors right back down and on hanapa again I might need a net on this end. You need a net? I'm gonna need it. Yeah. Wait, buy you. No, or scoop one. Or scoop one for me. It's fuck for fighting. Right. Oh, yeah. No way. No way. I'll get no bite fly. <laughs> <laughs> Still fighting, bro. All the way. Nice shot. Nice shot. Fuck, bro. He's still like head shakes everything, bro. I'm back up. You see color yet? I can pretty clear up on the front. Wipe your eyes. <laughs> He's coming up. No color. Oh, right there. What is that? Oh, scoop. Whoa. Yeah, you fuck him! Yeah. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Put him back, put him down. Yeah, bro, I was pretty stoked. Back to back drops on the flies. I was able to take home some quality fish and <laughs> the only fish of the trip. Look at the colors, man. This is a beautiful fish. Make like I was gonna throw him back, but bro, this one went straight to the steamer. There it is, automatic flies, bro. So, as always, before I head in, I like to clean my fish. I never have a spoon, but the back of the knife worked just fine. Taking off all the scales, and that's why I like goldfish. It's one of my favorite fish to eat because it's one of the easiest fish to clean. After I paw scale them, I got it and I cut all the way through to the gills and just rip out everything. So that way all the blood from the fish can drain. It makes your fish taste that much better. And then since I was out there, I was like, ah, I might as well try, try fillet this yellow dot on board which i made some killer sesame seed sesame oil pokey with them the bugger's bean so yeah just a quick fillet um it's not the sharpest knives i'm using but it's available and that's all that counts so as you guys know i always take care of my fish when i'm on the water that way none of it absolutely zero of the fish goes to waste I gonna take home what I can cut nicely <laughs> or what I can clean and the rest is given right back to the ocean so that it can help other fish grow and prosper so nothing absolutely nothing is wasted even if I you know my cuts aren't so nice but something gonna eat it so yeah I fillet one side I turn them over fillet the other side and then bag them up head in and then see you guys in the kitchen okay, so now, now it's time to grind so I'm preheat the oven to bake convect bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then while that's you know warming up I'll be cutting up and trying to shred this lemongrass the so lemongrass you're gonna steam it with beer and you want to shred it so all the lemon and essence of the lemon is flows right through the fish so you get that flavor i'm just trying to break it up as best as i can and once that's in the steam pan i cut up some cilantro i cut up some sweet onion uh i prefer maui onion but the store was sold out but sweet onion works just as good And then some green onion. 
You can cut them thin, you can cut them chunky. Depends. I like cutting them thick and chunky, so. And then, take one little break. But the, the beer also plays a factor. So that's what I'm gonna steam the fish in. I'm gonna steam it with a nice cold beer. Take one sip, make sure the bubble tastes good. As if you're tw over 21 guys, okay? No one there is drinking. And I'm gonna pour it nicely in the pan. So here's a steam tray cover. I'm just gonna spray the pan so it doesn't stick. And I'll place my fish on top. And then I'm gonna score the meat on both sides. Cause I want that steam lemongrass beer flavor to flow right through the fish. And then I'm gonna top it off tonight with black bean garlic sauce. So I bought this at Foodland, any in the Asian Oriental Foods aisle, probably any, any store got it as long as they own Asian Oriental Foods aisle. And then I'm just gonna use this paste to generously lay it on top of the fish. You can put as much as you want. I mean, you can really soak them in there if you like the sauce, but if you just want like a hint, you know, you're just gonna add, um, you know, just a light layer. So for me, this is a kind of like, light layer where it wasn't too heavy on the taste and then um, I add it also on the inside and try to brush it around the belly area I'm trying to get all the flavors in and then I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna do the other side You want to get all in all the cuts that you made. You can cover around with foil, poke some vent holes. And by that time, you're gonna be putting them in the oven, put them for like 20 minutes, and boom! 20 minutes past already, the bug is done. You give it a quick fork test, make sure that the fork goes all the way through, so you know it's cooked all the way through, so the meat should be nice and soft. So that's step one already fast out of thing cook but <laughs> nah so while I took them out I'm gonna start prepping the peanut hot peanut oil already that gives it that nice sizzle that nice flavor that just tops everything off then I'm gonna dress my fish with the uh, ingredients that I cut up the cilantro the sweet onion and then the green onion and then once my peanut oil is smoking cool. None of this fish went to waste, the guts went to the ocean, the rest went to my stomach and my family. Alright guys, like, subscribe and make a plate.